Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I've got the uh, voice meter uh, tool being used. It comes with a virtual uh, audio cable, a virtual cable. Uh, a lot of people download just the virtual cable. The uh, author of this program was telling me, and they don't get voice meter for some reason. Well, that's that's silly because this comes with the virtual cable, and virtual cable amplifies this tool's uh, potential. Plus, voice meter itself has its own virtual cable, which is the voice meter input and output. But its output is a uh, voice meter output coming on this virtual cable right here, and that's what you're listening to right now. This is a separate output that can go to two devices. Now, you've, be forewarned, you have to have an A1 device selected or the thing breaks, okay? So have an A1 device selected for your monitoring. Right now you see my microphone coming in. I use a Scarlett USB, uh, the 2i2 from Focusrite, and it's a USB input, and so that's actually going out. And as you can see, here I have you on OBS, I've got signal coming in through the desktop audio, not through the microphone. I'm mixing everything. Normally, uh, people use OBS to do their mixing for them, and they bring the mic in here, a desktop audio, in through another setting. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. You see, I've got the microphone disabled and voice meter output coming into the desktop audio device. I could have done it the other way. I could have disabled this one uh, and but you see, there is no place to disable this one. You pick default or you pick a dummy input, whereas this one gives you the possibility to disable in the choices. Okay, so that's why I did it this way. And it's more accurate anyway because this is really for a uh, microphone or auxiliary device. Now, that doesn't mean I still can't bring in another device and bring it in here. I can bring in one of these other things. But I'm already getting several things in through this tool here. Now what's going on is I've got the microphone, which you can hear, and I've also got a playback in here of a media player. I've got uh, my FUBAR media player coming in here, so I'll bring that up. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Get Google out of the way. There we go. And so hit that and it'll start playing the music also. And you can hear it. You can hear that playing. And I've got that coming out through the monitor, which is coming into my headphones, which is my Scarlett. I've got nothing in the A2. I've removed that. You click on remove the device selection in order to uh, make it so you only have one. But you have to have something for the monitor uh, on A1, okay? Or you'll get an error message. So I'll just fade that down. Uh, on B, I've got another thing. I've got uh, the Audacity player, which is great to use for putting uh, cueable like beds and backgrounds and stuff like that, or intros. And you can play that, you know, on the fly. Oh, hello there. This is Terry Britton. And there you have uh, some output coming from that thing. And that's coming into this I'm recording a backup here. of the audio so to make sure that... Uh, that That's coming into my virtual input. Breakups like last week, I can just continue playing. So I've got playing, two inputs now get playing show, besides my uh, voice that you're hearing, you and know, I'm able to monitor these through the A, on which it, is like coming out. But I didn't right choose now. to monitor my voice and because we won't there's lose a out on delay. There's some latency. So I've got and my Scarlett has a built-in recording the monitor anyway. I can switch in its hardware monitor. Hopefully, this thing's going to work out. Okay. So I so anyway, very little introduction this week. Let's get right into the music. So I'll let that music come on. And one other thing I'm going to show and, uh, and is I've got Skype right also okay, we'll picking up its microphone it's input Facebook from the voice meter now. thing. Oh, so okay. I'm able to have a Skype caller come in and they can hear my microphone just as this recording can hear it. In, uh, and I have the recording devices. I've got actually OBS hearing it, as you can see. And I've also got Cam Studio running at the moment, which is actually recording this video. And it's also getting its audio input from the uh, voice meter output, okay? And so here's Skype, and I'll play its ring. And as you can see, that's coming into the recording, and I can hear it because I'm it's coming into 
this same cable. This cable is like a mixer, like a Y cord that you can put various, you can put multiple things outputted into it as if it was the default playback device. So it works just like choosing a Windows default device in here. And there it is, you see, the voice meter is chosen as the default playback device. So that's why you're hearing that. It's also set up as the default recording device. Okay, so that's how you want it set up, as you can see over here. And then you get uh, the ability to use it in these various different ways. So now I can have an OBS recording that's capturing a window, as I'm doing here. I'm capturing my full window, or I could just be capturing a Skype window. Uh, on one side, I could be capturing a Hangout on Air on another side. I could be sending the Hangout on Air's audio also into the voice meter input in this side, or I could send it to the virtual cable into this side, which is how I'm getting getting the FUBAR in uh, this program. Okay, uh, other media playback devices also have the ability to direct where the uh, audio is going to go. This one, let me just turn some of these down. <laughs> Well, this background sound is getting a little intense. There we go. These others, this you select the output, and see I have it going to the cable input, a BB virtual cable, which is this input right here. Okay. Uh, similarly, VLC Media Player has a tool like that. I'll just pull up VLC. And uh, you go to Tools, Preferences, click on audio and take it off a of default put it to DirectX or uh, the wave 32 um, not that one DirectX and now I can select the voice meter input or the virtual cable uh, as the inputs so there's the virtual cable at the bottom I also have the hi-fi cable input. That's a little more touchy. You've got to have all your uh, sample rates correct. And it's really made for people that have a, a uh, ASIO-compatible device like this Focusrite Scarlet is. Uh, it uses the ASIO type of uh, drivers. And so that lets me also bring an ASIO device into the whole thing, okay? Into this, or any ASIO playback device. Uh, so... Okay, so as you can see, we are able to get sound from many, many sources in here. And the big secret in the OBS program is that we're getting everything from voice meters, a virtual output, which is on this slider here. Okay, so there you go. There you go, that one, that one, and Skype, and Skype. There we have it. Oh, I want the options. Please, Skype options. Thank you. And Skype. There we have it. Okay, so that's that's the video. I hope that this helps you set up uh, this program. It's so super. Let's bring up the... Uh, show you where to get it. I'm going to turn this down. And I'll show you where to uh, get this program. Just simply go to Google, type voice meter... B O I C E M E E T E R. Okay, that's the top link. It's the one you want. This is also another very good vi two videos on using Voice Meter. And uh, and this is the program. And it's a free download. It's donationware. Uh, it's recommended, say twenty, thirty dollars to uh, if you want to buy it. But he'll take anything that you want. It's donationware. Okay. So if you feel it's worth five dollars, give five dollars. If you feel it's worth fifty dollars, give him fifty dollars. He deserves it. Because this is a wonderful program. It's a super expansion on the concept of the stereo mix tool. Much more flexible. Gives you separate volume controls over each one of these different tools. Okay. So how can you lose? So most people just get virtual audio cable. Do not get the whole package voice meter. Uh, here's where the hi-fi audio cable is. But uh, like I say, you only need that really if you need an ASIO bridge. Okay. So there you have it. That's uh, that's my.
program on that, and I hope you found it really, really interesting and enticing and exciting, and that you're going to take and make great use of it. Okay, so, uh, uh, oh, I got a Skype call. I got to go. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Good talking to you. Bye-bye.